Many pieces of military hardware from the Cold War era that were thought to be obsolete were given a chance to prove themselves and find a new field of use during the Ukrainian-Russian conflict. While some of these weapons get their first, albeit delayed, taste of battle, for others it's business as usual to operate in the face of hostile fire. The Stinger Manpad, a veteran of the Soviet-Afghan war, was deployed again almost a year ago to fight the Russians. And since then, the Russians have learned to fear and respect this weapon system so much that they sent one of the captured Stinger missiles to Iran for reverse engineering. This is Military Mechanics, and in this episode, we will talk about the FIM-92 Stinger. This video is brought to you by Duovox Ultra, a military-grade night vision monocular with full-color starlight technology. It delivers sharp, full-color, real-time night vision with as little as 0.001 lumens of visible light. With its built-in high-capacity IR illuminator, you can even see through complete darkness. Its impressive 5x optical and 10x digital zoom, paired with manual focus mode, lets you get up close to observing objects. Click on the link in the description to buy the Duovox Ultra and ensure crystal clear night vision. The Stinger missile, formerly known as the FIM-92, was developed by the United States as a shoulder-fired, surface-to-air missile system. The Stinger's primary purpose is to provide infantry units with a highly portable and effective means to engage and destroy enemy aircraft. As a result, it has played a significant role in the evolution of modern warfare, enabling smaller forces to challenge the air superiority of their adversaries. The development of the Stinger missile began in the late 1960s, prompted by the need for a more advanced and effective portable surface-to-air missile system. The US Army awarded the contract for the design and production of the Stinger to General Dynamics in 1972. After a series of tests, the missile entered service in 1981, replacing the less effective Red Eye missile system. The Stinger missile system has undergone multiple upgrades and improvements since its introduction in 1981. It consists of three primary components, the missile itself, the launch tube, and the identification friend or foe IFF interrogator. The missile has a length of 1.52 meters, a diameter of 2.8 inches, and fins measuring 3.9 inches. The weight of the missile itself is approximately 22 pounds, while the total weight of the missile, including its launch tube, integral sight, grip stock, and identification friend or foe IFF antenna, is approximately 34 pounds. It can engage low-altitude enemy threats up to 2.36 miles away and has a targeting range of up to 2.98 miles. The Stinger is propelled away from the operator by a small ejection motor before the main two-stage solid fuel sustainer is engaged. This causes the Stinger to accelerate to a maximum speed of Mach 2.54. The missile's high explosive annular blast fragmentation, or HEABF, warhead is designed to maximize damage to aircraft by targeting the most vulnerable components, such as engines, fuel tanks, and control surfaces. The warhead has 2.25 pounds of HTA-3 explosive, which is a mixture of HMX, TNT, and aluminum powder. Additionally, the warhead has an impact fuse and a self-destruct timer that goes off 17 seconds after launch. Also, the Stinger missile features a proximity fuse that detonates the warhead when it comes within a predetermined distance of the target. This increases the likelihood of damaging or destroying the target, even if the missile does not score a direct hit. 
the FIM-92J's proximity fuse has been upgraded for greater reliability and effectiveness. Stinger is guided by an infrared passive system. The seeker has the ability to focus on moving as well as stationary targets. There have been upgrades to both the seeker and the computer. The FIM-92B and later models use a seeker that detects both infrared and ultraviolet light. The FIM-92K makes use of a data link to enable a remote sensor to acquire a target outside of the Stinger's sensor's acquisition range. Using the data link, the missile is able to make mid-air adjustments to its course and successfully acquire the target. One of the key advantages of the Stinger missile is its ease of use. The entire system weighs approximately 35 pounds, making it highly portable and suitable for infantry use. The launch process is straightforward and requires minimal training, further enhancing its usability. Additionally, the IFF interrogator helps prevent friendly fire incidents by ensuring that the missile only engages enemy aircraft. Throughout the Stinger's deployment, there have been multiple variants with improvements in range, guidance and lethality. Some of these include the FIM-92A Basic Stinger, FIM-92B Stinger Post, FIM-92C Stinger RMP, FIM-92D Stinger Block 1 and the FIM-92J which features an improved seeker that allows for better target acquisition in adverse weather conditions and increased resistance to countermeasures. A single Stinger missile costs around $134,488, adjusted for 2020.